Hello. Today I want to respond to requests given to me by someone who wished to teach their child the times tables. Now the first thing I want to address is the fact that most of us when we were in school successfully learned our times tables from 1 to 10 and we moved on from there. But somewhere along the way we lost the ability to do our times tables and now as a result most Americans don't know the times tables. There's some that people can do because they're just kind of easy, like twos and fives and even nines. Of course, ones are really easy. But the point is, when you sit down and you teach your child the times tables, you want to be able to show them the confidence that they can actually do something with the times tables. So first thing you want to do is get your times tables written down so you have a, like a cheat sheet. You can make one of these here through Word programs, Excel, or you can actually just download it off of some, a site online. Okay. So what you have now is the ability to look at the times tables and then kind of run through them with your children. But what you want to do, you don't want to just, for example, say you do your five tables. So you get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You want to be able to ask your child, what is 6 times 5? You say, and they should be able to say 30. Okay. What is 3 times 5 15? What is 8 times 5 40? They want to be able to, you know, to prove to you, you want to ask them, to prove to you that you know the actual breakdowns of these numbers, not just the, the, the rote run. Okay? So, what you want to do is sit down and you can choose one number a day or two, whatever your schedule would, would um, you know, recommend for you that you do. You sit down and you make sure that you know these timetables. You write them out. So you start with your six and you say, you say one times six is six, and two times six is twelve, and three times six is eighteen, and move on from there. Okay. Therefore, not only do you teach your child the uh, times table, but you kind of learn yourself, which makes it important for you as well. And then what you want to do is you want to test them. You want to first tell them what they are, make sure they understand that, and then test them. Okay. You say what is six times seven? They should be able to tell you forty-two. Okay. And so then you take it from there. You just have. Uh, Fun time with that. Make a game of it. You can do this uh, at dinner time. You can play math games. You can uh, do this at bedtime. You can do this in the morning. You can do this anytime you want while driving in the car. Just have fun and make it fun. Okay. If if your child gets to the point where they feel that um, you know they're they're being put upon too much, and then they're going to rebel and they're not going to want to learn these things. But make it important for you. Make it important for them. But also make it fun. Okay. So those are tips I offer today about times tables. First of all, have your time tables written down on paper like I showed here. And so you can drill these so that requirement's out of the way. But also, as, uh, as an aside to that, you want to make sure they know the individual breakdowns, the individual groupings of the numbers and how they mathematically come together, for examples that I showed before. Okay. So thank you for your request. Continue to give me these requests because this is how I'm able to really think about new ideas that I feel are important to you. Okay. So thank you for watching. Until the next video, you have a great day.